Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Boog and Dad TV. But a little different, we went back in time to 1989. Oh, sorry, I'm back sorry. in time to 1998. <laughs> We're back to the summer before episode one was released uh, with the Power of the Force prequel to the prequel, um, Battle Droid and Strap. Of course, Strap is the actual, what the actual uh, gunner that he's riding on is called. And this was our very, very first peak of the Battle Droids, because uh, this was about, you know, six months to a year before Episode 1 was released. So nobody knew what any of this was at that point in time. So this is a cool little figure I thought we'd throw on the show. And, of course, I'm wearing the uh, Anakin's Episode 1 uh, Pot Racer helmet, just for fun. And for time travel. Right, Boog? Yeah. So I put my glasses back on here so I could see something. Yeah, All right. we did go back in time, as you saw. We just jumped out of the time machine. Yeah, and we'll jump jump into this, because like I said, this actually came out in 1998. Wait a minute. What's Why that? Did, how, come our player, how come our studio looks the exact same in 1989? Well, I guess we jump back to the present. <laughs> so anyway, the uh, like I said, this is this is really cool because it's very one of the, the one of the rare few uh, episode one prequel toys that came in the Power of the Force packaging. Because uh, normally once they started rolling these out when uh, if, when it was time for the movie to release, uh, they all got switched over to the episode one packaging. So that's kind of unique in that way. Uh, of course, this has the old Kenner branding on it, and uh, it says right here prequel sneak preview. Or, I'm sorry, Episode 1 sneak preview. And, of course, this is the strap and the battle droid. Uh, so you got the Power of the Force packaging down here with the green and black. Uh, just super, super unique little figure. And also was great for our collection. As you know, me and Boog have been building up our, our kind of Clone Wars battle droid, whatever you want to call it, battle scenes kind of thing. Well, our army. Yeah, yeah, our army. So, uh, because I don't know if you guys could see this, but they're pretty much outnumbered. <laughs> yeah, and then here on the side, of course, is a nice shot of old Roger Roger. Of course, we didn't know that at the time on his strap. Um, and for some reason, that's the weirdest name for a vehicle because I just can't remember that that was called a strap. I doesn't even really remind me of a strap, but that's what they called it. All right, so here's the back of the packaging. Now, on this particular one, we got a lot of wording um, because, like I said, when this was sitting on a toy shelf. Uh, back in 98 at Walmart or wherever you may get your stuff, um, no one had ever seen this before. So they're probably looking at it going like, what is this? This isn't Star Wars. But it was coming. No, so, no, they're, wait, Dad, why did you say, why did you say that this was in Star Wars? They didn't even know what Star Wars was. No, no, they knew what Star Wars was because this, was uh. this was for the prequels. Remember, Episode 4, 5, and 6 come out in the late 70s, early 80s. The prequels actually uh. come out in 99 after the originals. So this was one of the first toys from the prequel series. Uh. Yes, got to get Boo back on track there. He has trouble with, this. He has, he has trouble with the whole time. <laughs> the whole Star Wars timeline, which I don't blame him. I would too, especially if I was um, his age because it is a bit confusing. But anyway... Um, like I said, you get a lot of extra wording on the back of this, uh, which we'll go over because, um, uh, like I said, they're, they're trying to introduce people to this line of toys. I think the I think the yellow outline one would probably tell us the most. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna read one section, and Boog will read the other, and then it's got a cool little thing down here where you can do, uh, I think, like a mellow weight and get this Mace Windu figure, which of course would have been one of the early ones too that was released. So. Let me see. Is that nice? Mace Windu. Why is he a blue lightsaber? I don't think they, because it's, it's so early, I don't think they knew he was going to have a purple lightsaber, because he is pictured with a blue one, right? So sometimes the guys, when they're making the movies, they don't tell the toy companies uh, all the details, or maybe it wasn't finalized yet to where he would have the purple lightsaber. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Samuel L. Jackson may have had something to do with that. I think he might have went in there when he was shooting his parts and said, man, I want a purple lightsaber. George was like, okay, cool. You know, but yeah, and this one obviously they didn't know it was gonna be purple. They pushed him with blue, and I'll show that to you guys here so y'all can get a look at that. You'll see Mace Windu, and he is indeed holding a blue lightsaber. Very odd. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me read this to you here. And by the way, if you guys don't know what, if you guys guys did not hear what B and I were just talking about, we Mace Windu normally has a purple lightsaber. Right. Right. Yes. Um, never seen him use a blue one, so that's kind of interesting. All right, let's go. Uh, let's get started with this. Back, strap on your time machine boots, and we're heading back to the summer of 1998. Um, Boog was 
Not even born. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had a we had wait, about that. Dad. We had about another decade wait, to get the boo. Wait, Dad, when were you born? Seventy-seven. So, so you were about fourteen or something. No, no I was like thirty. Eight, uh, 20. No, so twenty. You're in your twenties. I was twenty or twenty-one. Yeah, because your sister was like one. So, because she was born in ninety-seven. So yeah, I was about twenty. All right, here we go. A totally new Star Wars movie with the characters, vehicles, weapons, and worlds will premiere in. I'll hold up here so you guys can actually look at it. Will premiere in movie theaters next Dad, summer. Dad, you can't see it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> glare. Is that better? Glare. It is episode one of the Star Wars saga, and the first movie in a new Star Wars trilogy. I remember how excited I was back then. I just could not wait. It's like, whoa, they're finally doing not only doing another Star Wars movie, but doing another trilogy. The original Star Wars trilogy told the story of Luke Skywalker, a young farm boy who became a hero in the struggle to overthrow the evil empire and had to confront one of the Empire's staunchest henchmen, his own father, Darth Vader. The new Star Wars trilogy will go back in time a full generation to reveal the origins of Darth Vader. In, ep in Episode 1, Darth Vader is, hopeful, is a hopeful nine-year-old boy named Anakin Skywalker, and Obi-Wan Kenobi is a brash young Jedi. This first chapter in the Star Wars saga follows Anakin's journey as he pursues his dreams and confronts his deepest fears in the midst of a galaxy in turmoil. Whoa! All right, Boog, I'll let you read about the strap and the battle droid. Strap and the battle droid. Hey, we can actually cut this out. Yeah, so that was super cool if, um, like I said, to give you a, a little information of what people can expect for episode one when it was coming out. Strap and the battle droid. The strap is a small one pilot repulsor lift. Repulsor lift. Repulsor lift vehicle outfitted by one light. By two laser cannons. It is extremely maneuverable. Maneuverable. Making it perfect for petrol patrol. Patrol rec reconnaissance. <laughs> reconnaissance and Big battle. Words. Steps are operated by battle droids. who function as the infant infantry. Infantry of the Trade Federation Army. Right. Production painting by Doug Chang. Doug Chang did the production painting. All right, very cool. So you got reading all that. I would have loved to have read the top part there seven minutes. about episode one um, because, like I said, I can remember going to that movie completely blind. No idea um, what it was going to be about. Internet was around, but it wasn't like it is now where you, know, you had all this. It's seriously seven minutes long, and we haven't even got it out of the box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you haven't, you couldn't even, you know, it wouldn't pop up on your phone whenever, you know, something new was going on. I mean, you, you kind of had to dig to find the, this kind of stuff, and a lot of it just wasn't posted. Nothing like it is now. So, yeah, I went into that movie totally blind, not knowing what to expect. Okay, Boo's going to go ahead and get it open here. Because Dad talks about stuff. Yeah. There's the scissors. And, um... Oh no! Um, well, our scissors seem to disappear every time. Under your paperwork? There Aha! You there they are. The uh, so yeah, it was um, like I said, no clue what to expect, and I was certainly shocked uh, when I got in there and realized uh, Anakin's age. I just I, I don't know I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I did not expect uh, to see um, to them to start with him being a uh, eight or nine year old boy you know at the time um or at least if, 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 if i thought that was going to happen i didn't think it would um i figured they would transition out of that pretty quick into an older anakin uh, i certainly didn't think an entire movie of him being a nine-year-old boy was what we were going to get uh but it was and um i remember being a little disappointed when i come out not that i didn't like the movie just that you know i went and i guess i went in there thinking that we were going to for episode one thinking we were going to get what we got in episode three um, uh, but of course that wasn't the case. It was a much longer drawn out story, but now looking back on them, uh, I really enjoy the prequels. I like, uh, all three of them. Um, you know, you put them all together then you kind of see where you went with everything and it was, uh, really, really good. Um, but you know, like the first time you're watching it, you know, it's a lot to take in with all that political stuff. There's a lot of political stuff in the, in the prequels. Um, and then you kind of have to have all three of them together. They're made to, to be able to put it all together and be like, okay, this kind of makes sense now. But uh, anyway, I guess enough rambling on the prequels. <laughs> Boop, what prequels do you like? I don't know any of them. 
<laughs> You've seen uh, episode one with the pod racers, right? That's episode one. Oh, yeah. But I've seen it in Lego form. <laughs> yes, you've watched the Lego version several times. Yeah. So, do you like that one? When Annika's, Annika's a young boy? Well, I like the I like the um the Lego one. Oh, okay, you like the Lego version? Gotcha. Yeah. Well, All right. it's because um uh, well, guys, I was actually uh, pretty young when I started watching the Lego ones. Yes, you was. All right, so here's going to be the blasters that come with our strap. Nice. Hey, that might be a good thing to do today. It's kind of rainy outside. We might need to go outside and get you get you caught up on episode one. Okay. Can't really get out to, out too much today. It's very much rainy. Yeah, yeah. We got a little rain here. Well, maybe. Well, dead. You know that we're uploading this tomorrow, right? Well, it's all right. Yeah. It's rainy when we're filming this. Yes, yes. Which will probably, for you guys, it was rainy yesterday. Yeah, it could have been. Depending where you live. Yeah. Even yeah, one on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't miss these. Done? These old tie-downs. I don't seem to quite use these as much as they used to, but yeah, these used to be... Real famous with all the toys. Yeah, you forget. Back in the 90s. Yeah, you, you, there's something you could show off now. What's that? Oh, the, the missiles? Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh. Are you with We're oh. just waiting on you to get through with the 800 tie downs. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure this guy did not go anywhere. Well, it looks like they planned for the missiles to go everywhere. <laughs> like, it's right when I flipped it over to put it on the. to uh, undo them. Um, one of the missiles came out. Yeah, and this was really cool, cool too. You could even get the, the uh, that's why it's not the mace. But yeah, this is a mail-in, and you could have mailed in, um, it wanted you to put in a postcard with your name and address on it, and send them, uh, I guess a check or money order made to Hasbro Promotion for two ninety nine dollars per figure. And that would get you a uh, prequel mace Windu, I guess like this one above. Um, if anybody ever got any of those, that would be really cool to know if they actually come with the blue lightsaber. Uh, and, of course, it gives the address there to mail it to. And it says major purchase uh, between uh, um, 10 98 and 12 31 98 And then you can get your uh, Mace Windu figure, which is Obviously, pretty cool. We're... Just don't do that kind of stuff anymore. But, yeah, that was... That was always fun back then. Obviously, we can't get that anymore. Yeah, I can remember milling off for some stuff when I was a kid like that. That was that was a pretty common thing to do. More wires. Yeah. Can and you think the mail is slow now. You order something off of Amazon, it gets here in two days. eBay gets you here within three or four, usually. Back then, yeah, you waited weeks. You wait so long, sometimes you forgot you even ordered it. <laughs> And that's been, and uh, that's, ha that's sometimes happens to us. Yeah. Uh, I actually, there's some things my, that my, there's some Star Wars toys that my dad does not tell me, um, uh, does not tell me that we, uh, purchase. I can't blow all the surprises, right? It's not, you know. All right, Boog is still unboxing <laughs> the strap here in Battle Droid. It literally has had, this is even part of the packaging. A ton of tie downs. There's even one around his. It's seriously even tied around his body. Yeah, they did not want him to move. But they even like they tied it in the back and they tied it around him. But it worked because this says this figure this come out in 1998, so it's made it perfectly in the box for 22 years. So hey, the tie downs worked. Well, I guess. He does have a Lucy Gucci arm. Ah, uh, does he? Yep. The other one's better, though. Oh, okay. At least you got one good arm. So, Boog is getting there. Yeah, we'll definitely be hanging on to this box here. It's going to go back into storage. Yeah, um, with this yeah, backdrop. Put that back in there, yeah. Yeah, that backdrop's awesome. Because, yeah, what you're about to see. Take Show them that. Well, um, yeah, it kind of gives you a natural little uh, scene there, kind of like the swampy world it looks like. Looking cool. 
Now you get to see. Thank oh, and you. we also got a little bit of instructions. Looks like ours is already assembled, but if yours wasn't, or if it fell apart, it tells you how to put it together. And what I love about this one uh, is it comes with a stand. So, you guys all know I love stands. So, he's going to sit Finally! Right on the shelf. He's on the screen. I'm there the he is. We got the strap with the battle droid. Real edges are just sitting. Woo! I think they're just taking a moment to breathe. <laughs> uh, Boo had to take a break after all that action. Woo! All right, so we got all that back in. Well, I guess. And no well, let's take a look here. I wonder how do we shoot these things. Boo's gonna load the uh, the missiles. Oh, did you already take the rubber bands off of them? Yeah. There's some little pieces. Well, yeah. Yeah, guys. If you're not, if you're not very, if you're not really, uh, if you guys really don't like waiting, um, for toy for like toy opening, maybe skip this. All right. Because that was. It's hey, some are worse 16, than others. It's already been over ten minutes. But at least if you decide to order, you guys, you know what you're in for as far as the unboxing goes. So, man, this is this is actually nice. And what you're staring at here is one of the very, very first uh, prequel toys from Episode 1 to ever hit store shelves, which is kind of neat in itself, just to know that this is one of the first ones, because the prequels uh, drew, a obviously, a huge uh, toy line, especially the, um, the Clone Wars. So, there he is. He's attached to his little stand here that it does come off. And his blasters are does in. Does it come off? Uh, yeah, it, sh it showed it sliding right off. I'm not going to try to pull it off, though, because I don't want to break ours. I really want to keep that stand. So, um, that'll be perfect for playing with him and for sitting on the shelf. But there he is. And he just kind of sits on this on this uh, strap, as they call it, and would maneuver through the air like this. Zoom, 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 zoom. Actually, like the things that mostly for patrolling, just checking the area out. Mm. Roger, 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 roger. Mm. Do I see any clones here? Mm. Nope, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Wait a minute. Bzz, Wait. Bzz, Roger, Roger. Bzz. Roger, Roger. I think there's one on the screen. And look, I only guys I want to try to figure out how how do these blasters work. Um, I don't really see any buttons, but they should fire. Uh, hmm. maybe that's it. No. Little, he's got his handlebars here move up and down, which is kind of cool with his arms. There it is. Wow, that was awesome. All right, but click those blasters. I figured it out. So basically, to get the blast feature to work, you press him up like that, and boom, out they come. Can you grab the other one? I think it went over there. Let's try this again. That was actually pretty cool. You know, some of these firing features that Hasbro done with the toys in this line, some are. Some are good, and some are just kind of like, eh, you know. All right, so here we go. So you're going to press up right here, and boom! Wow, that shoots great. Um, oh, we already lost one? <laughs> I'm sure we'll round that up later. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up um, on our review of <coughs> the strap with Battle Droid. Like I said, I think this is a really, really cool piece. You guys take care, and we will see you on the next video. Make sure to hit the like button. It does help out. Um, you know, if you like what we're doing, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, guys, before Dad still takes everything. Sorry. Okay, guys, <laughs> make sure to subscribe, Big and Dad TV, for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. Ah!